guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. Is it the first week of November? Yes. Is it officially Christmas? Yes, and has been since November 1st. So, I am one of the girlies that is in the boat that we celebrate Christmas from the beginning of November. We pause for two days, December, November 23rd and 24th for Thanksgiving, and then the 25th on we celebrate Christmas. And honestly, even sometimes, even the Friday after Thanksgiving, I am in full Christmas mode. It just kind of depends. But I truly believe that Christmas should be celebrated way longer than just either one day or a month. It's a whole season. It's a feeling. And I have so many holiday books that I need to read. So I thought that I would just go ahead and talk about my holiday TBR today because I have so many and I will be reading them from now until even probably after Christmas since I have so many. So I thought without further ado, let's just, let's chat about our holiday TBR. This TBR probably rivals, if not has more books, than last year's TBR. And I did really good last year, and that was just one month. So I'm hoping that being in November and December that I will kick some serious Christmas book reading butt, and I will read a ton of books. A lot of them are short this year, which is exciting. A lot of novella collections, which I love. So I'm very, very, very excited about the books that are on my TBR. I have a mixture of genres, rom-coms, historical, retellings, um, middle grade. This is very tentative. It could change. It probably will. I'll probably add to it. I probably won't get to all of them, but I thought that I would show the books that I have on my radar as of right now which is November 10th again I am sure more will pop up as the month progresses and as we get closer to Christmas so you will hear all about what I actually did read in my holiday wrap-up but for now we're gonna talk about my TBR I do have one book on my Kindle for sure um, I am gonna try to get it in paperback so that I can read it in paperback but I do have a couple for review um, that I need to read and I'm going to prioritize and that is Christmas Forevermore which is a romance collection with books by Sally Britton, Sarah M. Eden, Asha Newbolt, and Karen Thornell and I'm very 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 excited about this um, anthology and I'm really excited to get the paperback version if it comes out in paperback. I'll have to double check um, but I'm excited to add this to my collection and to read it this holiday. Next is a book that kind of took the, the world by storm today, at least the announcement of it, and that is Season Scheming by Kate, Katie Bailey. This will be the first book that I've read by Katie Bailey. I've heard really good things about her. She is a clean, closed-door romance author, um, but I'm not sure about a ton of the other content. I think she does do some language and implied in intimacy, um, but nothing actually happens on the page. But this is a Christmas hockey romance, and I am all about it so this comes out December 1st but I know for sure that this will be on my TBR I do have a couple other books on my TBR that are on my Amazon wish list um, and I'll go over those real quick um, so they're not really priority like if I don't get the books I'm not gonna be like oh bummer or I might have some extra money coming up around Christmas and I might buy them for myself we'll see um, but I have a couple that I did put on my wish list for Christmas and that is Sugar Plums and Scandal, which is a Regency book by Laura Rollins, as well as Sil Silver Bells and Secrets, also by Laura Rollins. So those are two Christmas ones. Um, Mishaps and Mistletoe by Lindsay Jeskowanski. Just, just want to, I, I apologize. Um, Holly vs. Mr. Ivy and Jack and Frost, Jack and Frost Bake Off by Amanda P. Jones. No Room in the Inn by Gracie Ruth Mitchell. The Politics of Christmas by Drew Taylor. I know that that one was super popular last year, so it's been on my radar for a while. Um, and then there's a couple Jenner, couple Jennifer Peel books. But again, those aren't super high on my priority list, so I won't be worried one way or another. But they are on my, um, my radar for at some point. So those are some that as of now are on my Amazon wishlist again. So if I have some extra money, I might pick them up. Um, or if I get any for Christmas or anything like that, they will be added to the TBR. So we shall see. But now for my actual physical TBR. Here we go. It's a crazy stack. I'm going to reorganize it for a second and then we'll jump in. So there's at least some order to the actual chaos that is me. 
Okay, I just got on Amazon to find the title of a book that I was going to include. It's going to be on my TBR, but the paperback is officially available, so I am going to buy that right now. So give me just a second. So excited because this is the final book to a series that I've been so looking forward to. Cool. Well, we'll talk about the, the series first then, um, since I did just buy the book. <laughs> that is the Gift Wrapped Romance series. This is a Christmas multi-author series. So there are five books, and they're little books this year, which is really exciting. Um, a couple of the authors who were in the Christmas Escape series last year um, did another like multi-author series. So I'm super, super excited. And the books include Cabin Crutch. Cabin Crush by Casey Stockton, Merry Kismet by Annika R. Walker, Solo for the Season by Martha Keys. This one will be prioritized because I do have an arc of this, so I do need to read this one and review it um, very soon. And One Small Secret by Esther Hatch. And then Jingle Bell Jilt by Mindy Burbage Strunk. Burbage Drunk. I apologize if I'm pronouncing your, your name wrong. Um, but I did just buy the paperback of that. So I will have that full series and I'm so excited. So that is the gift wrapped romance series. Again, these are small, super cute. So these will be priority. I will probably fly through these all um, super quick because they are super short. And since we're talking about series, we'll go into the next series that I have, and we'll be trying to prioritize this year. I got this series back in July. If you watched my Christmas in July book haul, you saw that I got this series. And that is the Costa Brothers series by Ellie Hall. It's Nico and Hope in the Partridge in the Pear Tree. Paulo and Noella in the Two Turtle Doves. Gio and Joy in the Three French Hens. Luca and Ivy and the Four Calling Birds. Bruno and Gloria and the Five Golden Rings. And lastly, Tommy and Mary and the Twelve Days of Christmas. So these are also um, some more short books. So it is following the Costa Brothers, and I'm very, very excited to read this series as well. I was going to get the books last Christmas, but I was between the series and the Christmas Escape series, and I did decide to do the Christmas Escape series last year, so it's Ellie's turn. Next, we'll continue on with the series idea, and these books have been sitting on my shelf for a while, um, but I'm going to finally finish the Winter Montana series. Oh my goodness. <laughs> by Belle Renshaw and that is Christmas Together and A Picture of Christmas. I think it's actually A Picture of Christmas and then A Christmas Together. I think this is the last book. I have loved the Winter Montana series. They have been the cutest Christmas books. If you are just looking for something sweet and wholesome, uh, Belle Renshaw is it. She's also Emily Haney, um, but Belle Renshaw is your girl. So I'm going to try to prioritize and get those finished this Christmas as well. Since we're on the theme of rom-coms, we'll just keep going. These are not necessarily series, I don't think. Some of these are standalones. Um, one of them is kind of loosely connected to a series, but I don't think I need to read the other books in the series. I guess we'll find out because it's a novella, so we shall see. But first I have You Make It Feel Like Christmas by Tony Shiloh. This is just a standalone. It came out in September. And I'm super excited for this. I will be pri prioritizing this as well because I did get an advanced copy of it. Um, but I wasn't quite in the Christmas mood when I got the book, but now I am. So I will be prioritizing that read. Then I have Merry Xmas by Courtney Walsh. I This came out last year. I did not get to read it last year, but I am excited to get to it this year. I have read Courtney's other two Christmas books and really enjoyed them. Next, I have A Christmas Spark by Cindy Steele. This is a very tiny little book. My brother got me this for Christmas last year, so I am super excited, or, or my birthday, something. I don't know, my brother got it for me, and I'm really excited to read it this Christmas. I really enjoyed the Christmas book I read by Cindy Steele last year, a part of the Christmas Escape series. She wrote Faking Christmas. Then I have All Spare and Loving Christmas by Sarah Monzen. This is her Christmas release with 
Bethany house and I'm very very excited. I really enjoyed her Christmas book last year so I'm excited to see and read this one. And then the last like rom com -y type one I have is The Holodool by Hailey Gardner. This is book two and a half, three of her Falling and Franklin series. So again, I'm not 100% sure if I need to read the other ones. Next, I am going to talk about a suspense book that I have on my list, and that is Better Watch Out by Natalie Walters. She indie published a Christmas book this year. Look at it. Oh my goodness, I'm super, super excited. So this will also be prioritized because it is, uh, I do have, I'm on the team for it, so I do need to get a review out for it pretty quick. Um, so I'm very excited to now officially be in the Christmas mood so that I can read some Christmas romances. So I'm very excited about that one. Next, I'm going to talk about some retelling-ish type things. If you know me, you would know that I am obsessed with The Nutcracker. I love the story of The Nutcracker. I am trying my hardest to go see the Joffrey Ballet do the story of The Nutcracker this year in Chicago, so we shall see. Um, but I love The Nutcracker. I have blankets, I have mugs, I have dishes, like literally obsessed. Now, I don't collect the actual Nutcrackers because they freak me out a little bit, but the ballet, absolutely love. Barbie Nutcracker? superior storytelling. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. But I do love The Nutcracker. So when I saw this, I'm super excited. Um, this is called Clara Soldier and this is by Brittany Fitcher. Um, and it is a retelling of The Nutcracker. Need I say more? I know nothing else about it. I just know that it's a retelling of The Nutcracker and it sold me. And then I also picked up this a while back from Second and Charles. I need to take the sticker off of it later. Um, but it is, it is like young, like middle grade or maybe even a little younger, but it's called Nutcracked. And it just looks super cute. And the back is, there are presents as big as I am and a Christmas tree, a giant forest of branches, and the holiday scent of pine. It's dark and I'm alone dancing with my Nutcracker. So this just looks super cute. Again, I'm all about the Nutcracker things. So if you have any recommendations for any Nutcracker books or anything to do with the Nutcracker, please let me know. I will sign up. And then this is a new book that I just got. I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to read it. We'll see. I got it for 50 cents from a thrift store. Um, but it is Mr. Dickens and His Carol by Samantha Silva. Um, and this is a secular historical fiction. So we shall see. Then I have a couple more novella collections. So I have Oh Little Town, which is a romance Christmas collection with books by Amanda Wen, Jana Trump, and Deborah Rainey. So I am excited. I will see if I'm going to get to this one. It's not very big pr priority, um, but it is a, we love a good romance cl Christmas collection. It's an option that I have. And then I have The Holly and the Ivy. Oh, I'm going to try so hard to get to this one. My brother got me this for Christmas last year, and this is a Christmas romance collections with stories by Sarah M. Eden, Esther Hatch, Dana LeChamont, and Annika R. Walker. So I'm pumped. Very excited. Um, Esther Hatch, Annika Walker, and Sarah M. Eden are going to be my Christmas girlies, I guess, because I will have multiple stories read by these authors this season. And then as of now, the last two books on my physical TBR, again, there will be more. Just be prepared. Um, but I have two cozy mysteries that I picked up in Branson when I was there this year. And that is Snow White Out and Frosty the Dead Man. And these are both Snow Globe Shop mysteries. Um, and they just looked cute. So we'll give them... We'll give them a shot. I'm not normally a big cozy mystery person, but I could be turning over a new leaf because I do have quite a few cozies in my collection now. So yeah, that is my holiday TBR as of right now. Again, I'm sure this has changed. I'm sure I will add more. I'm sure I will not finish all of these. I'm sure I am missing books in my own collection because I do this every single year. I'll finish the filming and getting my TBR and then walking through realize, oh, that's a Christmas book I haven't read yet. That's a Christmas book I haven't read yet. So, anywho, I will give you guys the full rundown at the 
end of the holiday season when I do my wrap up but I'm sure I'm going to be doing some vlogs like holiday vlogs but that's it thank you guys so much for watching let me know what your holiday TBR looks like have you started reading Christmas books or are you going to wait until December um, and do you have any Christmas books that I have to read what am I missing I gotta know let me know in the comments below don't forget you can check out my blog at fortheloveofchristianfiction.blogspot.com you can also check out my Instagram at fortheloveofchristianfiction all my other links are in the description box below I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!